So what our last unit deals with um, is the topic of, of an area of math called number theory. Uh, and so we just kind of get into some of the manipulation of numbers and some of their characteristics and ways that we can work with them. So I think there's some interesting stuff in, in this unit. Um, I had a number theory class in college and it was one of my favorites. So there you go. Number theory is a branch of mathematics primarily concerned with natural numbers and their properties. Now you're gonna notice as we go through some of the sections in this unit that we do talk about other numbers besides natural numbers. And that's because natural numbers are the, 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 the most basic set of numbers. We've talked about them before. I'm gonna remind you what they are here in a minute, but from the natural numbers, you can derive everything else. And that's kind of part of the concept of this, of this chapter. Now, just to refresh your memory, we talked about this way, way back when we were in our first unit and we talked about sets. The, the natural numbers, remember we used a capital N to designate the natural numbers. And the natural numbers, the reason they're called the natural numbers, they're also sometimes called the counting numbers, is because they are the numbers that start with one, like we're counting on our fingers, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then five. And then if you remember, we get bored of listing all those and roster notation. So what we do is we use a little ellipsis to say, hey, that, that pattern keeps going on and on and on. So... I'm not so concerned about the, the set and the set characteristics here like we were way back in our first unit. What we're just going to talk about is some of the structure of numbers, some of the uses of numbers. So one of the first things we're going to talk about here is what's called divisibility. How do I know if one number divides into a, another number? So first, let's define this. For natural numbers, uh, for two natural numbers, A and B, A is divisible by B. So A is divisible by B if dividing A by B results in a remainder of zero. So this mathematical term divisible means that when I say one number is divisible by another number, it means when I perform the division, the remainder is zero. Okay, it goes in and it goes in an even number of times. So for instance, just to put some numbers to this new word, 24 is divisible by, well, you tell me, what's a number? There's several answers here. What's a number that divides evenly into 24? Four, sure. You could have said six. You could have said 12. You could have said 24. 24 is divisible by four. Now, the symbol for divisible because remember I've told you before math people are fundamentally lazy we like to have symbols and nomenclature for everything so if I want to tell you that 24 is divisible by 4 or meaning 4 divides into 24 you write this you write 4 and then you write like a line up and down line and you say 4 divides into 24. So what's a number real quick? That divides into 15. Five, sure. 15 is divisible by five. And then to, to communicate that to you quickly and effortlessly, I'd say five divides into 15. Now, you might be saying, hey, Perk's dress seems pretty cool, but what happens if I want to say a number doesn't divide into another number? So like seven, 15 does, is not divisible by seven. 7 doesn't divide into 15. So what I would say is 7, then I'd use the divisible line, but then I'd put like a slash through it, like a not equals. And I'd say 7 does not divide into 15. Okay, So just trying to tell you what the symbols communicate so that when you see them, uh, you're not confounded. Last but not least, I know it's a fairly simple question, but what is a number that uh, is uh, that 100 is divisible by? 50. Sure, that sounds great. There was lots of answers for that. So 100 is divisible by 50. And so 50 divides into 100 is the way that I would write down. You tracking with me on what the word divisible by means and, uh, and how we use that symbol? Are we okay with that? All right, don't let me rush on because I, I don't, I'm 